documents that you need can be accessed in your Google Classroom under Giver Periodic Table. The first thing you need to do is just map out your ideas a little bit. So I have a pre-write. We started this in class together. And this is what we came up with. One character trait to describe Jonas was caring. And we said if he's really caring, then we should be able to identify two different events from the story that would support that trait. Um, and I'm going to say you can go back and forth. You can do a character trait here and then go to your periodic table and complete it there and then come back here and maybe you want to do one of the events that you identified as the climax. Type that in and then go back to the periodic table um, to identify your symbol. So as we're waiting for this to load, there we go. So to start with, um, we said that our character was caring. So you could either type in here, you know, whatever letter you want to use. If you want to use CA for caring or C, I kind of think it would be more fun to use some pictures. So for caring, we said because it was associated with Jonas showing love for Gabe, we said um, an image of a baby would be a good one. And I think both my mod 9 and 16 class decided that this baby was perfect because he had blue eyes. So I'm going to copy the image, go back to my periodic table and paste it in here. And I have to resize it a little bit because it's going to come out too big. And if you double click on it, it'll give you these black lines. Oops, I don't want to do that. Give you the black lines and you can actually crop the photo a little bit. And then if you click off of there and just get the blue lines, then you can reshape it. So I want this guy to fit here. So I'm going to squish his little face in. And then I need to create a new slide that's going to have all my information that goes with this picture. So if you go up here, you can just hit the plus to get a new slide. But I'm going to do one like this so that I have a title and two columns. And I'm going to delete that first column and put my image in here again. And then for my title, I'm going to use the trait, which was caring. And if you want to play around with font, that's fine. Change it. Make it look nice. I would say don't spend too much time doing that because really the big focus of this is going to be on your explanations. And this is a really good way for you to review for your test um, assessment that you're going to have on Monday over the entire novel. Um, and to save time, I cheated. I'm going to copy and paste what my last class did. Okay, and so I said Jonas showed that he was caring, which is the focus of this uh, part of the periodic table, um, this character trait. And I gave two examples, and I had some nice transitions in there. First of all is my first transition to show where each of my ideas want, uh, started and ended. And then additionally, okay. Now the fun part is to hyperlink these two ideas together. So to hyperlink, I'm going to go back to my periodic table, click on that picture so that I have the blue box around it so that it's selected, and click on this hyperlink button. And I want to link this picture to another slide in the presentation. And if we look over here, we've got each of our slides numbered. Once you get going, you could have up to 20 different slides, so the numbers are useful here. So I'm going to go to slide number three, and since I put a little title on there, it shows up. Hit apply. And before I view it, I want to go over here, and I want to hyperlink this to go back to my periodic table so that if somebody else was using it, they could um, navigate through my periodic table without uh, exiting and going back into the and having to replay the presentation. So again, I'm going to hit that hyperlink slides in this presentation. Now one of the problems I noticed was that my menu went down too far. So one thing you can do is either make your screen a little bit smaller so that you can see all of them or move this up to the top and when you hit hyperlink it gives you a little bit more space. 
So I want this to go back again to slide number two, which is where I had my periodic table. Even though it says first slide, my first slide is the periodic table. So I don't want to go there. Hit apply. And I'll move this little guy back down here. Now, if I run my presentation, when I click that image, it's going to take me to a slide that tells about what that picture represents. Notice I expect about six to eight sentences um, explaining each of the events depending on how descriptive your sentences are and then I can go back to my periodic table. So I said you need to have three for each uh, period characterization, setting, conflict. For climax and theme there are only two boxes for each so you only have to do two for those. And then for vocabulary get creative, pick whichever vocabulary terms you want from the book um, I would pick terms that you think are important or that maybe that you learned or want to try to use um, in your writing. And then for your choice, you could find some figurative language. Maybe it's a signpost that you found. Um, any of those options would work well. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Um, I'll have my Chromebook and my phone with me throughout the day while I'm learning some new technology to bring back and teach you. Have fun.